Introduction to the Delta Y Transformer Connection, Part 3 In Part 2 of the series, we illustrated the relationship between line-to-line -line voltage and phase voltage. In Part 3, we'll cover the relationship between line current and phase current for the Delta Y Transformer Connection. Check out the resources section under this video for helpful comments, suggestions, and clarifications. Let's pick up where we left off. On the secondary side of the transformer, where our transformer is connected in Y with the neutral grounded. We understand that line current, or line to line current as I like to call it, is a current that flows through the lines or conductors. Since we've assumed that the secondary side is our load side, we understand that the line currents will flow through our lines to our load. So line to line current A will flow through line A, line to line current B will flow through line B, and line to line current C will flow through line C, and they will all feed our load. We have decided to call our line currents line to line currents. Now it may sound misleading, but it helps my brain to point out clearly that we're talking about the actual line current for a particular line. So if labeling this current as line current or some other name helps you, by all means do so. As long as we clearly define our variables, we should be alright. Okay, so our transformer is connected in delta on the primary side or the source side. So this is where our source current will come from. The line to line current A will flow through line A. Similarly, line to line current B will flow through line B. And line to line current C will flow through line C, respectively. Remember, this line to line current comes from the source, like a generator, a utility, or the grid. Let's now talk about phase currents. We understand that phase currents flow through transformer windings. Let's start on the secondary side where our transformer is connected in Y. We should expect phase A current to come from winding A and flow to our load. Similarly, phase B current comes from winding B and flows to our load. And phase C current comes from winding C and flows to our load. For a Y-connected transformer, we should expect phase A current and line-to-line -line current A to be the same. Check out the resources section for additional information. Since phase currents flow through transformer windings, the delta transformer connection is no exception. Let's begin with winding A. Since we know that secondary phase A current flows out of the dot on the secondary side, that simply means that the primary phase A current must flow into the dot on the primary side. So primary phase A current will flow into the dot and secondary phase A current will flow out of the dot. This makes sense, right? We'll simply following the dot convention. If current goes into the dot from one side, then current must flow out of the dot on the other side. Similarly, phase B current must flow into the dot on the primary side to make secondary phase B current flow out of the dot on the secondary side. And lastly, phase C current must flow into the dot on the primary side to make secondary phase C current flow out of the dot on the secondary side. And that, my friend, is how we describe phase currents and line currents for the delta Y transformer connection. For me personally, I found it very difficult to intuitively understand the relationship between line current and phase current for the delta connected transformer. However, this difficulty can be easily overcome with a simple yet intuitive explanation. In part 4, we'll cover this relationship. This video was brought to you by GeneralPack.com making power system protection, automation, and controls intuitive.